My life without Urban Purpose would be, uh, I'm not sure that I would be here. Uh, you know, like I said, I was diagnosed with uh, fatty liver disease and given the, the choice to either make a change or uh, probably be, you know, my life would, would, would be over before I hit 40 years of age. When I was a baby, um, my mother, my mother had me when she was uh, 16 and my father was 20 and they really uh, couldn't, couldn't take care of me. And so I was put up for adoption and <clears throat> I was adopted by family. Luckily, I kind of felt lonely. Uh, my dad was, was in and out of my life. So he was never really constantly there. So I didn't really have a father figure. It was just me and uh, my adopted mom. Uh, you know, start out young with things like uh, petty theft and um, you know, just causing trouble in the neighborhood. Eventually became a, a drug addict and an alcoholic. And uh, from, from that time that I was around 20 till last year, uh, I, I spent, you know, two decades of my life just uh, on the wrong path. So uh, March, March the 3rd, of last year, I moved to Birmingham with uh, the the intention of going to treatment. I think it was about 10 days. Uh, I spent the next 10 days just walking around, uh, walking around the city, uh, trying to scrape together, you know, change money to to, to eat, to drink, you know. Uh, I was sleeping under an overpass. Uh, I was just, I was lost. I was uh, in a new place, didn't know anybody. One day I was really, uh, really tired and, and was tired of walking around the city and uh, I, I stopped on a, a street corner and I prayed. And it was the first time I would prayed in uh, years. I uh, didn't even know who or what I was praying to. I didn't know if I believed in God. But um, I just, I knew I was, I was tired and I had to do something different. So I prayed that prayer and something inside me said, go look for a job. I actually ended up at the compound. I came to the wrong door. And so I told Jim my story again. And uh, we talked and uh, we prayed. I, I had no clothes. Jim gave me some clothes, uh, you know, fed me, and uh, got me uh, uh, got me a job. When I got here and got to the point where I was desperate enough to believe, uh, God began to reveal Himself to me doing things my way wasn't working. You know, a after that, it was it was kind of easy, you know, I, I, doing basically the opposite of everything I, I had been doing, you know. Uh, it's really been kind of overwhelming uh, going from, you know, the person that needed help to uh, uh, grow within a year to uh, being able to uh, help somebody else. 
And I actually have a couple sponsees. I'm uh, working with a couple guys uh, trying to help them get sober. So. Somebody told me early on I couldn't, um, I couldn't think my way into uh, better living. I had to live my way into better thinking. So, uh, without walking into those doors of, of Urban Purpose that day, uh, there's, there's a possibility I wouldn't be here.